I have just won a corner specialist for 450 MT. We're going to send this into my auctions, and I'm now able to sell this for 1,700. Today's video, I'm going to show you guys the current easiest method to make MT in NBA 2K20 on my team. So, let's get it. Not only is this the easiest MT making method that I have found, it's one of my, well, top three favorite MT making methods. So, what you're going to be doing is, it's going to be badges. So, I've made a few videos on badges before, so I just want to emphasize basically the points that I made in those videos, and kind of like tweak it a little bit. So, at the moment, Gold badges are ridiculously cheap on this on this game. So if you just go to gold badges, you can see you're already getting some at 400 MT. Normally this is like 800, 900 MT. So at the moment you can get them for 400 MT. And obviously this isn't every single badge in the game. What we're doing is we're winning 350 on all these badges. Now, as you can see, we're already getting some badges. So we're already getting badges within just within a few seconds. So there's a few clips that I've got where I've bidded, I literally couldn't keep up. With the amount of badges that i was bidding so and there's also the way that this method works is obviously sometimes you can see where it says 300 and i'm bidding on 350. if i win it for that 300 i get the 50 back so in essence i've won the badge for, for 300 i'm gonna resell the badge on i have won badges that for 300 that i can sell for a thousand not really 2,000, because I haven't got that lucky. But I can sell a badge for 1,000, 1,500 MT. So what we've done is I have a few badges here that are ready to be listed up. So these ones by here, I've picked up for basically 250 MT. So it's got Rebound Chaser, Pick Dodger, Difficult Shots. Just really decent badges like that. Cross Key Score, for some reason, sells for more than 500 MT. I'm not really 100% sure why. But you can see some other badges here. I got a Quick First Step for 300 MT, which is kind of insane. I got a Dimer for 900. I got a Lightning, lightning Reflexes. But if you guys have enjoyed the video so far, if you could drop a like on the video, it does help you buy it a ton. And also, apparently, more than 70% of you guys aren't subscribed to the channel. So, yeah, do us a favor. I can't believe I just did that. So what you do, guys, once you've actually won the badges is you will chuck them all into your auctions. Now, in order to, like, save a bit of time is if you've won, like, a few of them, I would look for patterns. So I'd look for maybe, like, if there's two of one badge, I'd look to maybe chuck in them in first. Just because they can sometimes make it a little bit faster. So this Rim Protectors, I won for 300 MT, or 350, sorry. And what we're going to do is we will quickly go on to badges, we will go on to gold, and then we will go to Rim Protector, which I know is somewhere around here. There it is, Rim Protector. Now, I, I checked this price before the video went out, or before I started recording, and they're about 750 to 800. Now... You can undercut these if you want to and put them up for 700, but the thing I've noticed with badges is even when they go down to like the last like 10, 20 minutes, they often they often sell even if they are obviously, even if the price of them has come way down. So a good example of this is I saw the badge Space Creator, which normally goes for about 1,000, 1,500. When I bid on one, when I bid on the Space Creator for 350, the auction expired like that because someone bought the badge. For 2,000 MT, even though they could have just searched for it and got and got the badge for 1,500. It's just, there's a thing in this game of there's people who just don't realize what a good price is. So it's, in essence, lazy buyers. So people who really don't really want to go check what the badge's price is, they just see a space creator for 2,000 MT. Think, you know what? That's actually a decent price. So we'll go pick that one up. So in essence, I wouldn't really uh, undercut these. So what I would do for these is I actually list them for 800 MT. The general, like, consensus i have for listing a badge is i can maybe try and i can maybe try and describe it with rebound chaser so let's go find us rebound chaser all right so we found rebound chaser so i think it's not okay we, it's still a decently expensive badge i don't think it's that expensive but if, it, if it's a case like this where badges are popping up for obviously 700 mt if i just lower this back down to 700 so it's basically the lowest buy now for 700 but it's been up for about two hours or in the, or in this one it's been up for literally almost the entire four hours. I would just list it for 650. If, for example, it's up for maybe like an hour, an hour or two, I would list it for whatever the, the lowest buy now is. I wouldn't list it for 700 in this case because obviously they've been up for literally three hours and 50 minutes, so I wouldn't actually uh, list it for that price. But I'd have no issues listing this for 600, 650, and it's selling no problem. So we're just gonna go quickly list this badge up. And yeah, guys, that's basically what I've been doing. In terms of like how easy it is, you're seeing how easy it is to pick up these cards. So if I just go to badge again, bronze, look at that. One second left, picked up for 300. Post move lockdown, picked up for 300. And I, I'm, I'm running out of time to bid on these badges. Go, 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 quickly, quickly, bid on these badges. Another rim protector there. There's two rim protectors, there's three rim protectors there. So hopefully we can pick up some of those. That will be quite clutch if we do pick up some of those. But yeah, guys, you, as you can see, I'm basically bidding on every single badge for 350 because I know I have no issue selling for 400. Obviously, if, make, if you sell for 400, you're not making a lot of MT on the badge depending on what you win it for. If you win it for 300, 
you're making 60 mt on the badge but a lot of these badges is a lot of these badges you can list for higher than 400 mt so that's just what i've been doing and you're seeing in some of the badges i've been able to list them for 800 900 a thousand in certain badges case and it's just you slowly start to learn which badges go for a little bit so i know you obviously know the main ones Dima go for a little bit uh quick first step goes for a little bit obviously if you for some reason find a um a dead eye here corner specialist in terms of like situations like this if you find a corner specialist what i would do then it was i would quickly because i know where corner is i would quickly go find the cheapest buy now for corner so one eight all right so i'll go down to one seven see if any corner specialists pop up for one seven there are none okay so i know if i sell a corner specialist for 1700 i get about 1500 after tax so i don't know if i can win this badge for like 1100 that's kind of a dub. So if I can win it for like 1,100. All right, so instantly the cheapest buy now, or the cheapest bid currently active is 450. So obviously if no one else bids on that, I will get a 700 or 650 uh, auction house refund. It might be 750 actually. I will get that refunded back to me and then I have the badge to then sell on. So that's just the beauty of this method. If you come across a badge that you know is really expensive, in, it, in this case corner, you for some reason see someone listing a dead eye up for 250, you can take advantage of that and make a lot of MT. So what I'm gonna do is I'll fast forward to seeing what happens with this corner specialist. I have just won a corner specialist for a thousand of 100, no. I have just won a corner specialist for 450 MT. We're gonna send this into my auctions and I'm now able to sell this for a thousand seven hundred. To say that's a good auction result is kind of an understatement. That is phenomenal. In terms of like percentage wise, Ooh, that is a phenomenal badge that is a phenomenal badge to pick up and yeah guys it's just that's pretty much it for the method it's incredibly an incredibly incredibly effective method obviously you will get some of the badges that you don't make a lot of mt on but in terms of like just these badges bailout i know you can sell for a bit we'll go quickly check that badge out as well green machine is the badge that you can sell for around 600 700 depending on what the time is but we're going to go check this bailout badge just to see if we can actually uh get something with this badge i know bailout's near the middle somewhere so quickly there it is all right, let's find the cheapest buy bailout badge, shall we? So, cheapest bailout badge is about 800. So, I don't think I really have an issue selling this for about 900. So, if I can get it for about 600 MT, maybe a bit cheaper. So, I think the max I'll bid on this is 550. So, um, if we can get this badge for... Obviously, we're hoping for cheaper than that. But, obviously, we'll just have to wait and see. And in terms of all the other badges I picked up uh, while, on, while on course to picking up that corner specialist, cross key scorer I picked up for 250, rebound chaser 250. For post move lockdown, I will quickly add these in and I will show you guys how much post move lockdown goes for because I, I remember it being quite an expensive badge. So let's go have a look. And the cheapest post move lockdown is currently 1,300 and I've just picked it up for 300 MT. This method is, it's just great. It's just great. And I urge you guys, please go try out this method because you will make so much MT out of doing this method. It's literally, you can bid up to like 10 minutes. You can quickly go play a game of Triple Threat Online, Triple Threat Offline, whatever you want to do. And yeah, you just come back and list all the badges up that you've uh, that you've won. And it's absolutely a phenomenal method. We'll go check out this Intimidator as well while we're here, just because obviously Intimidator is an intimidating badge, you could say. But uh, yeah, oh, please don't leave dislikes, but <laughs> what am I even saying anymore? So Intimidator, obviously an expensive badge, a very, very expensive badge. So the cheapest is 1,800. So off the top of my head, if we sell it for 1,800, we get 1,600 back. So I think the cheapest buy, I think the cheapest I'll look to picking up this badge for is maybe like 1,150. Eh, 850, that isn't, that isn't awful. I mean, if we get it for 850, we pretty much double our investment. So that isn't too bad. Uh, we'll just keep a, keep a quick eye on that badge. So there's none, there's none for 1,800. So I know I can eat very easily sell this badge for that. So... Yeah, we'll keep a quick eye on this badge. There's 18 seconds left. If we can, if we can pick it up for 850, that would be a decent bid to uh, get this amazing badge. It's such an amazing badge. And obviously, we've seen these other ones expire as well for 300. There's more MT to be pouring into the uh, collection. Let's see if we... Oh, what? Uh, uh, yeah. uh, 1,300. All right. But, I mean, I can make 300 MT. So, yeah, if I get it for 1,300, that isn't too bad. I can still make it about 300 MT. I would like to get that badge now, though. So, if I can just, again, work out doubles. You know, as soon as you search a double, you can just list both of them up. All right, so, god damn it, man, of course. All right, mid room. So, let's go get into there. Let's go quickly list this badge up. Before, where's it gone? 
Oh, <laughs> where's it gone? On top of that, though, we did get a bailout badge for a decent price. So we'll chuck that in there. And I have to go quickly sell another card. All right. So we have our Intimidator listed up. I quickly went to go check the price of bailout. The cheapest buy now is 850 but it hasn't been up for too long. So I'm going to list it. Oh, the cheapest buy now is 800 excuse me. But the cheapest, but I know I can very easily sell it for 850 So no issue there. But uh, yeah, guys, that's it for the method uh, for the most part. If you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comments. I will happily get back to you as soon as I can. If you guys have enjoyed the video and found it helpful, if you could drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you are brand new around here for more daily my team videos and streams i'll see you guys all later take care i love you all peace